So I'm going to show you how to drill um, additional holes into the acrylic for the uh, RK1 up protector screens. Um, you can start off with using this sort of drill bit here. Um, I'll show you how to put that together and uh, make sure it, it creates the right shapes. Um, and as you can see, I took apart the um, RK8 panel, the control panel, so it's separate. Um, I actually got the actual acrylic protectors uh, from RK8 1UP as well. All right, so you know this comes from the arcade one up. Um, you can see that there's a cover, plastic cover. You remove that. And you can see it's very clear. Um, it also comes with uh, additional paint graphic uh, back end here that will probably apply. As you can see through the uh, the wear and tear, um, this will help make it look much prettier. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove these uh, custom bat uh, joystick as well. Put the protector on there. And the key to this to prevent it from cracking is having a strong foundation that sits right below it. So, and we're going to drill pretty fast. I don't think I want to take too slow. Um, so here's the drill bit. And uh, when I did the measurement, it went pretty much right to there. So let's uh, get started. Okay. Put this right in the middle. And... And that looks perfect, right? As you can see, there's no um, cracks or anything like that. I went right in perfectly. Uh, what I'll do is I'll list the drill bits, uh, the Black & Decker drill that I'm using as well um, in the uh, listing below so you guys can uh, have the same setup and if you guys are trying to attempt to do the same thing. Um, so let's see here. Let's see if I can push a button right down there. Well, actually, it can't. It'll fit. You know, basically, you want to put more. Um. There you go. It fits right in perfectly. All right. So here's the second button. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. You want to try your best to not put too much pressure. Um, okay, it's a little small. I didn't exactly put it right in the center, so I'm going to try to fix it. Looks like I didn't really place the drill bit right in the center. So what I end up doing to fix this is basically put some pressure towards the to the right side where I'm drilling right now, so I can get it back to the center. And it looked like it worked. You now we just gotta clean that up a little bit, but the button will fit. Um, And I think, I don't know, for me, I think that if you start with a, a uh, less powerful drill, um, it creates less heat maybe. And that's part of the trick here. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, because now we've got the full button in. This will probably fit right on. Perfect. You can see two custom buttons in. Uh, we're good to go. And that's how you drill a new button for uh, the RK1 uh, protectors. 
So, uh, just in case you guys are wondering, here's the uh, protective art, the new one that I just placed in the back, which is optional. Um, but, you know, more or less, I did the same thing. I mean, this is sort of the easy way out, right? You you basically drill it the way you did with the um, the plastic protector. Um, and the outcome will probably look like that. And the button will basically cover up any of the flaws. So, let me... Uh, you don't have to put too much um, pressure on it since it's a uh, paper. Um, and, again... This is with the uh, with the paper, so that goes right in. And here's the blue button, and the blue button goes right in. I'll push it right down. Yep, and it looks pretty good. I mean, um, no cracks, and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this was helpful for you guys.